So I have been asked several times lately about my desktop setup. It's pretty standard KDE Plasma setup. I don't change a whole lot. I change the background on the configure desktop and wallpaper, picture of the day Bing, and you can set a different one on your other monitor if you have two monitors set up. And I have that one, picture of the day, Earth Science USRA. And I have the fall apart windows when you close it. I have wobbly windows. All this can be set up from workspace behavior, desktop effects, and you can type in the search box here, wobbly, checkbox that, and fall, fall apart, checkbox that. Pretty standard setup. However, I'm thinking that what most people want to know about is this little widget right here. This one right here. That one is not part of the standard KDE Plasma desktop. In order to get this, you do have to go into add widgets, get new widgets, download new Plasma widgets, and type in simple monitor. It's, all, it's called simple monitor. Just type in simple monitor. And that will be the one that shows up here. As you can see, it's really nice. If you long press it, you get the little window and you can configure it. A couple of nice, really things, really nice things about it. You can change from the default logo, whatever it picks up as being your system. You can change it to whatever you want. I could change it to Arch. There's also a uh, Tux, which is pretty cool. And Tux is really cool when you do a crystal background color. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, there's also translucent. You can change the type of temperature reading, Celsius, Fahrenheit. You can change the skin. Not too many settings there, you know, just column or default. So that's a pretty nice little system monitor. And, and I've changed it to translucent there, but I like the tux. I think I'm going to keep it. Uh, other than that, that's how you get this little monitor. It's a, a simple monitor. And it's very handy. Memory swap, CPU usage, temperature, date, time. I don't think you can, I think the time can only be set to 24 hour type time. But other than that, I really like it. So... If you have any questions beyond that, just hit me up. Let me know. I'll answer best I can. And I should be able to start putting out some more Ink Stitch videos pretty soon. Things are settling down for me again. So I'll get that going again. Got some ideas going. And see you next time. Thanks for watching.